Hey guys, I just logged in and I'm ready to look at some more things with the Panasonic 3E. I'm here in my desktop. This is a place that looks like traditional Windows before Windows 8 came out. But I want to go and look at the start menu. Do you see this little guy right here? There's also one on your keyboard. Let's try pressing that. Wow! This is the start menu. With your finger, if you slide across, you can see more apps and programs that you can use. If there's a program you want to use that you don't see here, you can also place your finger near the bottom and slide up. This is a list of every app and every program that is on your 3E device. Swiping back down brings us back to the start screen. How do we get these little buttons and what do they do? Well, when you touch one, it launches a program. I just touched Flashcards Pro. It's a program to help me learn. If I want to use another program in addition to flashcards, I touch this Windows icon again and go back over here. What if I want to use the internet? If I touch the big letter E, that's my internet. This is Office 365, a place that we're going to spend lots of time this year, and it's a good one to know. What if I want to switch back to the program I was using? I can go to the left hand side and slide across the bezel to bring the flashcards program back. If I want to see which programs are running, I can swipe in just a little bit and then go back again and it shows me that I have the flashcards, the internet, and my desktop. Touching one of them makes it the active program. What if I want to have one program on one side and one program on another side? Let's say that I wanted those flashcards back, but I also want the internet. I could bring in a little bit, grab the internet with my finger, press and hold, and bring it to just half the screen. Like that. See how when I hold my finger and move it where it wants it to be, it says, okay, I'll help you out. So now I have the internet on one side and flashcards on the other. These three little dots in the middle let us adjust how much screen space each program gets. If you want that program to be full screen again, take the three dots and just slide it all the way over. That gives it full screen back to the internet. 